Now this is the untreated side versus what we just did. Hey everyone, John here from Cast and Spear, and recently my buddy Chris gave me a bunch of reels that you know have seen better days. They had a little rust, they had a little corrosion, and I showed them to my dad, and I was like, "What can we do about this? Can we make them you know look like they once did?" And he's like, "Absolutely, I know exactly how to make that chrome just shine, and it's super cheap and easy." And I was like, "We got to show everybody else." So. Stay tuned, you're gonna learn exactly how to do that yourself and bring back some of that coolness to those old school reels. All right, let's get started. Brass brush. Brass is softer than chrome, so it won't scratch it. So we just scrub it. The brass brush, you'll see some of the corrosion coming off. Now depending on how bad and how deep this is, it'll depend on how clean it'll clean up. So you just rub it, get the, the bulk of the corrosion off, and then we'll do a little polish to bring out the shine. So we're just doing the chrome, chrome on one side here so we can kind of look at the other side and compare it. Next thing we can do is use aluminum foil and water which aluminum is softer than chrome it won't scratch it either and it'll shine it up it'll form a aluminum oxide that will actually remove some more of the rusty oxidation here's our aluminum foil just get this from your house whatever you got just make a little Fold it into a little pad, something like this. Get it wet, just water. And then you just rub the rub the chrome. And you'll see it gets a little bit brighter. If there is deep rust, it will not clean up. It depends on how bad your rust is. But uh, this looks like it's got some deeper rust, so it won't come out real good. But this will brighten up the chrome. We'll rinse it off here in a second, and you'll see how how much better it is than it was ten minutes ago. I just get it a little bit wet. It's going to wear down a little bit. It'll also make your hands really black, so you might want to use gloves to uh, keep your hands from getting too dark because it's kind of a mess to clean up. So as you can see, this chrome is starting to shine pretty good compared to what it was. And aluminum foil is pretty cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money on fancy polish and stuff. Now the metal polish it's a very light abrasion, kind of like polishing compound, that will just brighten up the chrome. This basically takes the most of the oxidation off, and it brightens it pretty good. As you can see, it's better. I'll just rinse it off with a little water. And you can see got a little deeper rust, but compared to that, it looks more like chrome. This is coming out fairly well. It's got some bad rust here where the chrome is so thin it's worn through, rubbed off. See, it's uh, not looking too bad. Okay, now we're going to do some polishing. You can either use polishing compound. This is turtle wax. Any polishing compound will work. This is a light abrasion. You can get this at the auto store, and uh, for four bucks or so, it's kind of a pasty material. Or you can use a fancier. This is a high gloss. Got this at a swap meet or a car show, I think. A little more expensive. I think this was like fifteen dollars for a bottle of this. Sheen's Sheen's Genie. 
if you only have a couple, this is the cheaper route. If you do a lot, I do a lot of bicycles, polish a lot of chrome. So I've gone through about, and this lasts quite a while. It's got diamond dust polishing compounds. So it's a little fancier than this and it polishes a little better. But they both work. Okay. So this is more of a liquid material. It's kind of white, similar to the other. And this is not too exciting. You just have to rub it quite a few times, maybe 50 or 100 times. Just rub it back and forth, keep it wet. And this is a uh, diamond, so it's a very light abrasion, but it will bring out the polish or bring out the shine in the chrome. This also works good on aluminum parts. If you have aluminum parts that you want to make really, really shiny, I do this on aluminum bicycle rims and it brings out the shine just like chrome. But you can see it takes, it's a, it takes a while to rub and rub and rub. It's not a fun job, but it does have good results. If you want something really bright chrome, if you have a car, old classic car, an old bicycle, and really want to bring the shine up, this is a good way of doing it. And go all the way around it. And then we'll wipe it off, and then we'll compare this to the other side to show you how much, how clean it can get in about 10 minutes of time. So now it's just a, an old cloth rag I've been using for polishing for quite a while, so I'll just wipe it off. And this is pretty much what the chrome is going to look like, minus all the deep corrosion that doesn't clean off. So if it's chrome is just a coating over the metal, so if there's pores and imperfections in the coating, it lets the rust and the parent material come through and that's what causes the rust and oxidation is just little voids, pores and cracks and chips in the chrome that let the uh, iron particles form rust and corrode, okay? So, here we go. This is kind of what it looked before, this piece. And then this is still has some heavy pits that won't won't clean up because they're too deep. They've basically broken through the chrome. But you can see the difference between this and this. Now this is the untreated side versus what we just did. Okay. So you can still see some little pits and scratches and dings which you can't get out. That's part of the 20 years of use that this reel has seen. But you can see just a little bit of elbow grease, polishing compound, brass brush, aluminum foil, and water. It's basically all you need to bring back the shine to the chrome on a reel, bicycle rim, anything chrome. And we'll have another series to how to polish aluminum and bring an aluminum part that's heavily oxidized and make it look almost like chrome. So there you have it. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, definitely throw me a little like. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so until next time, happy fishing and keep those lines tight.